After four years, I finally understand. If you ever thought that you knew me, you never really knew me. Welcome to my channel, it's the Busy Giant. Man, I'm back with another one. This video right here is actually gonna be pretty special in my humble opinion, um, because this is like a reintroduction, man. I have some explaining to do. I got some explaining to do, as they like to say. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Consider following me if you like real content and encouraging content, content to make you get out and wanna go do something, man. So hit that like button below, here we go. I've had this channel for about four years and um, it never dawned on me what my real purpose of the channel was. I was just kind of trying to figure out how to go viral. I was trying to like find ways to like um, trend like most people trend when they have a channel, when they post certain things. So I was just trying to get in the mix and I was trying to figure out how to navigate these social media streets, right? So I spent the last four years doing what I thought other people wanted me to do. I spent the last four years not really being my true authentic self. And for that, I want to apologize. For anybody that has followed me, I want to apologize because I believe in authenticity. I think people like to follow you when you are being authentic. I think people want to follow your journey. They want to feel like they know you. They're getting to know you. This video right here is more of a reintroduction. Um, the reason why I said that you might not know me if you thought that you knew me because I feel like I spent so much time doing everything other than just being my authentic true self. And that authentic true self is like, an encourager, a motivator, inspiration. Um, instead of trying to like do trends and dances and all of these different type of things, whatever I thought that the algorithm was asking for, I was just trying to do it. But now, four years later, I finally understand. Let's talk about my niche, right? And why I say that I understand. Like I said, the last four years was me doing workout videos, um, I started doing like kind of fashion videos. People like things like when they see me with my different hats and stuff like that, um, you know, different bracelets. So I would like do traveling videos and go shop in different places. I would do funny videos, try to try my hand at skits and stuff like that. And nothing was really working for me. And I didn't really find a real passion in any of that. I think that um, I felt more satisfied when I would drop like a video that I thought could really help somebody. I felt more fulfilled when I dropped a video that somebody found some inspiration or they can identify from, identify with. So I feel like I had an epiphany and my epiphany was, look, ditch all the other stuff and just encourage people and motivate people and inspire people. I'm very passionate when it comes to talking about business. I'm very passionate when it, when I, when it comes to talking about self-improvement and improving yourself and how to level up. I'm passionate about those things. I can go on and on and talk for hours about that. And usually that's how you discover what your niche is. Your niche is something that you think that you, you're not going to experience burnout talking about something that you just absolutely love. Typically, you can do that for a long time. And when I realized what that thing was, it was like a light bulb moment for me. It made me say, oh, wait a minute. This is what I need to be bringing to the world right here. I can encourage people. I can motivate people. I can talk about my my business. I can talk about the things that I did to start leveling up. Um, this is stuff that I can talk about and I don't have to rehearse it. It just comes off naturally. I don't really, I don't have to write scripts. I just can talk about it. Because it's something that I've experienced and it's something that I'm really passionate about, right? That's basically it, man. I found out where I was supposed to be and now I'm here. Um, so that's why I call this the reintroduction. Who is the busy giant? All right, the busy giant's more than just a handsome face. A handsome face with some style. I'm more than that. 
I'm actually a person who cares about other people and I care about how people turn out. I care about making an impact on somebody's lives. I, I care about leaving some kind of positive mark, some kind of change. I want to implement some type of change. That's what I want to do. That's who the Busy Giant is as a person, right? Now, as far as my channel, the Busy Giant is a place where you can come to get real talk on a variety of topics, specifically business and self-improvement. Those are the two things that I'm very passionate about is business and self-improvement. Would I be traveling? Of course, I'm going to be traveling. Would I be buying clothes? Of course, I'm going to be buying clothes, buying jewelry. I have a watch. I'm a watch head. I love like nice time pieces. When I buy my first expensive $100,000 time piece, I want you guys to experience that with me because you're going to realize what it took for me to get there. You're going to say, man, I've been following the busy giant since he was struggling in his business. I remember he didn't have this much money, but now he's grown to have this much money. I want people to be able to see who I am, follow my journey and know that it's actually possible because they watch me go from zero to hero. You know what I mean? So that's what my, my business is on this social media platform. My business is to encourage somebody. I want somebody to find some inspiration and some motivation from me. Why should you care? The reason why I feel like you should care and you should want to follow me is because I offer my authentic true self. That's just the bottom line, right? Um, I see a lot of lying on social media. I see a lot of lifestyle marketing on social media, especially in business. There's a lot of there's a lot of fronting out here. And for people like me, I was one of those people until recently until I got a mentor that was really telling me what I needed to know. There's so many people out here that preach business and they'll they have all these feel good stories that tug on your emotions. And they say things like, oh, man, I went from being in jail. I had a 50 year sentence and I got out. And I got an EIN and now I went and got a million dollars. And it's like, it sounds good and it's beautiful, man. But I think that it's just so many people on social media misleading people. No one's talking about the ugly, the grimy, the personal work that you got to put in. There's a lot of personal work that you have to put in. There's a lot of time management you need to learn how to have. You need to know how to like speak properly. <laughs> you need to know business. You need to know certain areas of business. It's not as simple as going to get an EIN and then you're a millionaire the next. You know, I have a couple different mentors, man, that have told me a lot of things along the way that have showed me how to do things in business. And if it wasn't for them, man, I would still be out here following just random people on social media trying to like achieve what they achieve by them giving me the instruction that they gave me on social media. But they're leaving out a lot of the important parts that you need to know to be well-rounded in business. So people go out here and they get these loans and then they're bankrupt. They go out here and get these loans and they default. They go out here and get their EIN and go try to set up a business in a certain structure and they jack it all up because they don't know anything, right? One thing that my mentor told me that I'll never forget, she said, there's a lot of people on social media that's flexing this lifestyle, that got the Rolexes, that got the Lamborghinis, that got all these different things. And you're looking up to them and you're thinking, man, I just want to achieve that too. I want to do this too. But a lot of these people are broke. And they're trying to persuade you to buy their course to fund their lifestyle because they don't really have it like that. They have enough to show you something to get you hooked. And then once you win, you need to be buying. You're going to be buying that course that's going to actually be funding what they need or what they're trying to make happen. Right now, don't get it wrong. You have people out there that are paid that do have some money. But. They're flexing this lifestyle and nobody's really, really well versed in business. Nobody's telling you the ugly side about what they have to experience. Everybody just wants this rags to riches story. 
and they want to share something glamorous with you in hopes to get you hooked in. That's not what I'm about. I want to share the ups, the downs. I want to, for instance, I don't like to cold call. I have to cold call in my business. I want to cold call. I want you to see me nervous and how it looks as nervous as I am when I get cussed out by people on the phone. But these are the things that you have to experience in business in order to um, appreciate like the, the successes in business, right? I'm not on here selling no dreams. I talk about my relationships. I talk about like things that I've been um, privy to based off of my experiences, man. And honestly, man, that's just the only way to go. That's the only way to go. Find somebody that's going to be authentic and take advice from the person that's actually really giving some sound advice. Not people out here that's just trying to stunt and show you how much money they got. Because in the end, the richest people and the most successful people are the most plainest, boringest dressing people that you'll ever meet. They just sitting back chilling, man. They already got money. After a certain amount of wealth, it's not about money anymore. It's about making a difference. It's about doing something that's going to leave an uh, imprint and a legacy for your, your kids and for people around you. How are you going to change the world, man? That's what this is about. But anyway, man, I talked enough. I'm just letting you know what my channel is going to be about. My channel, The Busy Giant, right, is about inspiration and motivation and it's not no fluff. It's all real talk, man. Let's talk about real things and how we can really grow, man. So that's what this is about. But until next time, y'all, you know I got to roll, man. I'm busy.